Hello and welcome to the 13th video tutorial for Slideshow Digital Signage app for Android, in which I will show you how to display camera feed on the screen, how to set up face detection and trigger a playlist based on the detection result. As usual, on the left side of the screen you can see an Android device with Slideshow app, on the right there is a web browser on my computer with Slideshow's web interface. First. I have to allow camera permission for Slideshow app through the basic settings in the on-screen menu. It's at the bottom of the settings. I can now add new content with type video input and select the camera I would like to use. It can be a smartphone or tablet camera or an external camera connected to a USB port. The playlist is created automatically and I can test it by clicking on the play in the main zone. The camera feed is scaled automatically. If you would like to display the camera feed just in a part of the screen, you can add a new zone by editing the screen layout. And then assigning the camera input playlist via schedules. The camera picture will be displayed a few moments after saving the schedule. Now I am going to set up face detection and triggers and as the camera feed cannot be used simultaneously, I have to remove the camera zone from the layout. Face detection can be set up via device settings by selecting a camera. You can also adjust delays between two frames in order to manage load on the system. After saving the settings, reload Slideshow app in order to apply the changes. Few seconds after Slideshow starts again, you can check the status of face detection via menu information, face detection. If the picture is displayed rotated, you can fix it by changing frame rotation for face detection in the settings. I will open the face detection page again. You can see that the picture is displayed correctly now. There is a red rectangle around my face, meaning it has been detected. And in each eye, there is written a percentage probability that the eye is open. On the left, there are statistics for each frame, the newest one at the top. You can refresh the page to update the data. In order to trigger some action with face detection, I will upload two new files into a separate folder and create content from them by right-clicking the file. The playlist will be created automatically for each content. Let's open the triggers page now. I will add a new control element for event face detection and set up condition that number of detected faces has to be greater or equal than one and the width of the largest face has to be at least 13% of the frame width. You can set it up by dragging elements from the left menu.
The action will be change playlist to welcome in the main zone for two seconds. I will quickly adjust the content duration for both playlists to two seconds as well. Now let's try getting a little bit closer to the camera. You can see that the playlist in the main zone automatically changed to the welcome playlist as soon as slideshow detected that the width of the face in the picture crossed the threshold configured in triggers. Let's try it one more time and you can see the same result. If you are not sure why some trigger was or wasn't triggered, you can always check the statistics displayed on the face detection page. I will now set up a little bit more complex trigger that should detect a wink. The condition is that the probability of opened eyes has to be more than 1.8 in the most recent frame and between 0.6 and 1.4 in the previous frame. If this condition is satisfied, it should trigger playlist Wink in the main zone. I will test it by making a little bit longer Wink so the face detection has enough time for detecting it and you can see that the playlist was successfully changed. That's all for today, thank you for watching. You can download Slideshow app for free on website slideshow.digital or through Google Play Store.